Welcome back to today's video lesson. In today's lesson, I'll be teaching on percentage composition, which is an aspect of stoichiometry. Now you can see these questions written on the board. The question says, calculate the percentage composition of magnesium nitrate. So basically they are asking us to get the percent composition of magnesium nitrate in the sense that we have to calculate the percentage composition of each element that makes up this compound. So to do that is very easy. First, you need to get the overall molar mass or the formula weight of the compound. Okay, we determine the formula weight of the compound. So let's quickly do that for magnesium nitrate. What is the atomic mass of magnesium? 24 plus what is the atomic mass of nitrogen basically it is 14 but we have two atoms of nitrogen so it becomes 14 times 2 because this two is affecting everything inside the bracket so what is the atomic mass of oxygen 16 but here we have six atoms 3 times 2 Okay, this 2 is affecting oxygen and 3 is affecting oxygen. So you times 2 times 3, so it gives us 6. So we have 6 atoms of oxygen. So 16 times 6. So basically we have 24 plus 28 plus 96. So we have 148 grams per mole. So this is the overall molar mass of the compound. You say the formula weight. So so calculate the percentage composition of each element that makes up this compound is very easy. So let's solve for the first, which is magnesium. So for magnesium, how many atoms of magnesium are present in this compound? One atom, one atom. So we have one atom of magnesium. So to calculate the percent composition of magnesium, you simply say the the, the atomic mass of magnesium, which is 24, dividing the formula weight of the compound, which is 148 times 100, because we are looking for percentage, okay? 24 over 148 times 100. So we have the percentage of magnesium in the compound to be 16.22 percent now let's determine the percentage composition of the other elements that makes up this compound first we've done for magnesium second is nitrogen nitrogen so for nitrogen first we need to deduce how many atoms of nitrogen are present in this compound we have two atoms we have two atoms of nitrogen the two is affecting everything inside the bracket so Basically, we have two atoms of nitrogen. So, percentage composition of nitrogen, we equals the atomic mass of nitrogen. But we have two atoms. So, we times the number of atoms with the atomic mass. The atomic mass of nitrogen is 14, but we have two atoms become 14 times 2 over the uh, formula weight of the compound, which is 148 times 100 so we have the percentage of nitrogen inside magnesium nitrate to be 18.92 percent so let's quickly determine the percentage of oxygen which is the last element that makes up this compound so for oxygen first we need to deduce how many atoms of oxygen are present in this compound? We have six atoms. Two times three, six. Six atoms of oxygen. So it becomes six atoms. So to get the percentage composition of oxygen in the compound, we simply say percentage composition of oxygen will equals. Now you know we have six atoms and the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 times 6 over the formula weight times 100. So percentage composition of oxygen becomes 96 over 148 times 100. 
So it becomes 64.9%. So you can see we've deduced the percentage of each element that makes up this compound, magnesium nitrate. But to be sure if your answers are correct, you have to add this percentage if it's going to give us 100%. So let's add this percentage. So percentage will not be equal to the overall percentage, which is total percentage, which basically is 100. So let's say for magnesium becomes 16.22 plus 18.92 plus 64.9 so when we hit this in our calculator we're going to get 100 percent so it must be 100 percent if it's not 100 it means that there are some issues with the calculation so you can see how to calculate the percentage composition of elements in a compound now let's quickly move over to the next question now this question basically is a compound which is Na3ALF6. First thing first, we need to know how many elements makes up this compound. And there are three elements, sodium, aluminum, and fluorine. So let's quickly calculate the formula weight of the compound. First thing first, what is the atomic mass of sodium? 23. But we have three atoms times three plus what is the atomic mass of aluminum? 27. What is the atomic mass of fluorine? 19. But we have six atoms, 19 times six. So we have 210 grams per mole. So this is the molar mass of the compound. So first thing first, we have to determine the percentage of sodium. So for sodium, first, how many atoms are present in sodium? Three atoms. You can see three atoms now so percentage of sodium becomes the atomic mass of sodium over the formula weight which is molar mass times 100 so what is the atomic mass 23 but it contains three atoms so 23 times 3 over the formula weight times 100 so we have when we hit our calculator for the percentage of sodium in this compound, we have 32.86% of sodium in this compound. This compound is an all for aluminum and it is called creolite. This compound is called creolite. Now let's quickly calculate the percentage of aluminum in this compound. So for aluminum Al, how many atoms are present? We have just one atom. One atom. So it is straightforward. So it becomes percentage of aluminum will equals the atomic mass of aluminum 27, just one atom. So over 210 times 100. So we have 12.86%. So let's quickly deduce. The percentage of fluorine in creolite. So for, for fluorine, how many atoms of fluorine are present? We have six atoms. So percentage composition of fluorine equals the atomic mass of fluorine, which is 19 times how many atoms? Six over 210 times 100. So when we hit our calculator, we'll get 54.3%. So when you hit this in your calculator by adding them, you see you have 100%. So you can see how to calculate the percentage composition of elements in a compound. So for this other question, you do well to solve it and also put the answer in the comment section below. I remember the film tutor and also hit the subscribe button to this video and also share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.